What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart, but this time it's not a walk around. That's right. I did something for New Year's for you guys. I went and bought what I've been told is one of the worst cars you could possibly buy. Maybe it is as bad as you say, or maybe it's actually a great car. We're gonna find out together in this video and we're gonna find out why it was listed as mechanical damage or if maybe, just maybe, it was listed mistakenly as mechanical damage and actually there's nothing wrong with it at all. Well, it's New Year's and you know what that means? That means we've got a sponsor in today's video and that is Ridge Wallet, guys. If you don't know who they are, I suggest you go check them out. I have the beautiful carbon fiber. I got the money clip in the bag. Look how easy this is, man. You, you need your money? Comes right out. You don't need your money? It slides right back in. You know, you can hold somewhere around 12 cards. I'll say somewhere around 12 cards right there, yeah? Okay, and when you're done, check this out. So you pull your card out, right? And when you're done with it, you just slide it back in and it all goes right back where it's supposed to go. It's got these elastic bands on the side, lifetime warranty, lifetime warranty. You'll never have to worry about this. I've had this wallet for like two years and it's still holding up nicely. RFID blocking as well to protect you from those digital pickpocketers that are running around trying to get your card information and steal your identity. They have over 30 different flavors of this wallet to choose from. One of my favorites is of course this carbon fiber, but my other favorite bit, well, 18 karat gold plated, another top favorite of mine. And another one is the burnt titanium. Absolutely beautiful wallets, lifetime warranty, free shipping. Try it for 45 days. If you don't like it, send it back. They'll give you a refund. They'll give you your money back, guys. So you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Get rid of that big bulky wallet. Get yourself an updated minimalistic futuristic front pocket wallet is what I call it. That's not them, that's me. Front pocket wallet. You throw it in your front pocket and you forget about it, guys. Go check them out, www.ridge.com slash AAR. Use code AAR for 10% off your order today. Again, that's www.ridge.com slash AAR. Use code AAR for 10% off your order today. Thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this channel almost all of last year. Happy New Year. Let's get back into the video. So here it is, my 2012 Fiat 500 Sport with a manual transmission and a button that says Sport. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Uh, it was sold to a company called Wheelsy. I've never heard of them before. So if you've heard of Wheelsy, definitely comment below and tell me who they are, what they do. I've never heard of them. But anyway, it's got 140,000 miles and change on the odometer. We've looked at it before and it looks like a decent car. It is a two owner. It's got four really good tires and it came from an affluent neighborhood in Oklahoma, a suburb of Oklahoma City called Edmond. All right, so it's a, it's been taken pretty good care of guys i've got the car fax and it's never been wrecked there's no recalls none of that it's a small car and the body looks pretty good the paint looks good the tires are decent the interior although some critters have gotten into it the interior is decent as well seats are in good condition front and back i don't know how well you can see that but it's really decent in here. It's just a little dirty. We'll go ahead and fire it up real quick. We've seen this car before. We came out here and checked it out. And you know what? It even comes with both sets of keys. Look at this, both keys, very nice. It runs well. Those flickering lights, that's just on camera. They're not actually flickering. There are no warning lights on at all. The brake light is only on because I have the e-brake engaged. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna push the sport button. Yeah. Power steering feels good. Brakes feel good. I guess all we gotta do is take her on the road and we'll find out together. It is a little concerning that it was listed as mechanically damaged, but you know me, I like a good risk, and I decided this one was fine. I don't think there's gonna be anything major wrong with it, but I guess, you know, you guys know just as much as I do about this car. I already checked 
the gears and the transmission and it goes forward and it goes backwards. The coolant looks good, the oil was good. We've checked this car out on a Copart walk around we did out here before. And yeah, like listen to it. It purrs like a kitten, man. We got the Tesla Model 3 Performance with us today. And uh, maybe we'll do a drag race. The Fiat 500 in sport mode against the uh, M3P. No, that's not gonna happen. Let's verify we have gas. Uh, we do. It's got almost three quarters of a tank of gas. It's 37 degrees outside and it's, it's very wet. So uh, I guess the only thing to do is let's get this thing on the road and find out if it's actually mechanically damaged. All right, it is time to hit the road. I turned on the heat because it is pretty chilly out here and the heat is working just fine. Oh man, that sport mode. I mean, I think this thing could whoop the Tesla. I do. I'm kidding. Okay. So far, so good. A little bit of a whine. Not too bad. It seems like it's kind of going away. We're in fourth gear now. Uh, guys, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get too excited just yet, but it's driving straight. The steering is straight. Now I am on a curved road, but uh, a road that slopes, but she's driving straight. Steering wheel is straight. It's not clunking. There's no rattle noises. There is just a, an ever so slight whine See if you can hear it. You hear that? It's not super loud. I don't know how it's gonna come out on, on audio here, but it's not very loud. I don't know where it's coming from, but the car, we're going 45. Very smooth, very, very smooth. I am super impressed. You know what it sounds like? I think it's a throwout bearing. I do. I think it's a throwout bearing starting to whine. Um, not a big deal. Like, that's not a big deal at all. It's one of those things you could probably drive it like that for a long, long time. I'm not concerned at all. I think we got us a winner, guys. I do. Does the radio work? Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> oh, I turned off this traction control. We definitely want that today. Guys, I'm going to continue on our way and we'll see what happens. So I had a change of heart. Instead of taking it all the way to the new property and then having to bring it all the way back, I decided why not just bring it to the property I already have out here in the city. It's only about five miles away, but it's enough for us to have gotten it on the road, get it up to speed, and we're gonna take it and go give it a bath, clean it up a little bit. She's still running well, nice and quiet. Yeah, guys for what I paid for it. I don't think I told you this yet, but I paid $1,450 for the car. And it did come out with fees and everything to 2000 like $2,050 after fees. Is that a good price? Well, you guys will have to tell me. It's a two owner, it's a clean title. And aside from needing a, a quick bath, it's actually in really good shape. I, I personally, I think it's a good deal. I do, I think it's a good deal. She's sitting here purring like a kitten. All the lights work. It's not a bad looking car. Let's get her down to the car wash. Let's try to give it a bath, clean it up a little bit. And uh, then I guess we could take it out on the highway, get it up to speed and see how she does at 
higher speeds. All right, so we made it to the car wash. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you get this writing off? And let me tell you, I've tried a lot of different things. Getting that crap off of the car is not easy, but get you some brake clean, it becomes a whole lot easier. I'm gonna show you what I mean, watch, watch this. Just kind of spray it on, let it soak for just a minute. Look at this, it's almost like a magic eraser. <laughs> Look at that, just comes right off. Yep. Wash, rinse, repeat. Same thing over here. It works great for uh, this sticky residue left behind as well. Just kind of spray, spray that on a little more. Let it soak in there for a minute. Not to worry, we're gonna spray the car off here in just a second anyway. But look how quick it just, it just emulsifies the sticky. The stuff is gone. Very nice. Look at that. Just takes it right off, man. All right, let me finish knocking this out. I've already wiped down the interior and uh, we'll give her a bath and see what she looks like underneath all this dirt. Probably the best seven dollars I have ever spent was right now on this car. It came out so much better. I didn't even scrub it guys. All I did was just give it a nice high pressure soap spray and a good high pressure rinse and she came out looking really, really clean. Man, probably help we get it out in the light a little bit. But uh, I wiped down the interior, wiped down all the paw prints and stuff on the doors. Everything in here is looking pretty good. The dash was pretty dusty and that's all cleaned up as well. Let's see if we can get it out to the light and uh, see how it looks out there. Hopefully that helps a little bit. It's kind of dark out today. We don't have any sun, so this is as good as we're gonna get in this video. I think what we're gonna do next, as I said, we're gonna take it out on a little drive, get her up to speed. You know, let's see if we can get her up to 60 miles an hour. Let's see how she does. And so long as everything is good, well, uh, we're gonna send this thing right back to auction. There's no reason to hold on to it. There's no reason to keep it. I know you guys are gonna be like, I should drive it. I should keep it and enjoy it for a while. Guys, the fun for me is finding these cars, picking them up, driving them, and then I'm bored that quickly. <laughs> I'm just done. It's really cold today and uh, it's really kind of nasty out, so I guess we're gonna get this thing on the road. Let's see how she does at highway speeds. And then I think we're gonna be done. All right, guys, well, we are cruising at 60 miles an hour. And I know the lights are flickering on the screen. They're actually not flickering in person. That's just the way it looks on your screen, but we're over 60. And I'm here to tell you, man, Aside from that little bit of a whine, I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but a little bit of a whine, that's it. Heat works, air conditioning works, there's still no warning lights on the dash at all. And that whine does go away as soon as you depress the clutch pedal. So I know it's a throw out about bearing starting to make a little bit of noise. This is a great car. I think I got it for a great price. We're gonna get back to the house. Well, she's made it, and I did reset the trip. We're at 8.6 miles, which means we've driven it over 10 miles. No overheating problems, no warning lights at all. It runs great. I even broke the tires loose a little bit, if you can believe it. This little multi-air got, got the traction control running, man. She, uh, she was lighting them up on these wet roads. 
I, I don't know how it ended up there. I don't know who Wheel Z is, never heard of them. Don't know why it was listed as mechanically damaged. It's a good running little car, guys. So I'm gonna send this down the road. This is a short, sweet little video, fun little car, but I'm winning something else. So stay tuned for that. Well, it's the end of the video, guys. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. We bought something, can you believe it? I know it's not anything super impressive. I know it's a Fiat and everybody told me it's the worst possible car you could buy. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's got 140,000 miles on it and it's a great little car, a great little car. Now, I'll also say this, this is a Fiat 500 Sport and it has a sport button and I pushed the sport button and it didn't feel any more sport. I, it, it's, it didn't, yeah, it, I don't know if that button even really does anything at all. It turns on a light that says sport, but no, this car is not sporty at all. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get out of here. And don't forget, go check out Ridge. Please go check them out. It's my last video for now with them. So definitely go check them out, www.ridge.com slash AAR www.ridge.com slash AR and use code AR for 10% off your order. Links down below, guys. Go check them out. If nothing else, just as a thank you for them sponsoring the channel last year. I, I appreciate them. Ridge has been great to me and you guys have been great to me too. So I hope you had a wonderful New Year's. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again. We got a whole new year, 2022, baby. We got a lot to do. I'll see you all very soon in the next one.